Welcome back, viewers! Did you know that your home might be housing more harmful pollutants than outside? These gases are called volatile organic compounds or VOC. Things like air freshener, craft surprise, paint, and even household cleaners could be meeting harmful VOC at all around you. But don't worry, in this video, we're gonna tell you how to solve this problem and create a clean air space through indoor plants. Do plants really have health benefits? Can they boost your mood? Or do they really help to clean your surroundings? We're talking about that and more. Plants that you should have in your house. Number 1. A spider plant. This is a plant that is easiest to find. It prepares a lot of bright in a direct sunlight. This is a great plant as it is safe to your pets at home and non-toxic and very resilient. Just make sure to water these plants a few times a week. This plant also said to remove carbon monoxide and xylem. This is very nice and easy to plant. You can repot this as many as you can and you can give to your friends, your family, and your neighbors. Number two is a snake plant. Spiders? Snakes? Oh my! <laughs> but wait, it's not what you think. We're still talking about plants here. A snake plant is another very easy plant to take care of. It's like to stay on the drier side and you don't need to water the plant every day. And it can take a very wide range of light level so it should be okay in most rooms in the house as long as they get sunlight. This plant really looks very cool and it's said to release oxygen into the air along with removing harmful chemicals like formaldehyde, xylene, benzene, toilin, and trichorothelin. Number 3 is an aloe vera. This is another very easy and very friendly plant to take care of. This is an instant remedy for burns and wound healing and along with this it has skin conditions like psoriasis, abrasions, bug bites, and itchiness. This aloe increases the elasticity of the skin, making it more flexible through collagen and elastin repair. This is an emollient, helping to soften and soften the skin. You must have this plant at home. This is very useful plant. You can even use this one as disinfectant, antibiotic, antimicrobial, germicidal, antibacterial, antiseptic, and antifungal. Wow, I think that covers all the anti-bases. This aloe vera is quite incredible and medicinal plant full of nutritional benefits. So guys, what are you waiting for? You must plant this at home. Next, number 4 is a ZZ plant. Botanical name of this is some eucolcus semifolia. Zizi plant is very versatile plant that's great for both home and workplace. Why? Because this removes pollutants. Indoor air pollution is a very threat to human health, mainly because in this era of urbanization, we spend most of our time indoors. One of the Zizi plant benefits is improving the severely compromised indoor air quality. According to the NASA Clear Air Study, the ZZ plant helps in cleaning the indoor by absorbing pollutants such as xylem, toluene, and carbon dioxide from the surrounding air, therefore making it one of the new plants that only look good but also have purpose. Number 5 is Dracaena marginata. Dracaena is a popular houseplant known for its ornamental value. Apart from that, there are still some great Dracaena plant benefits proven in scientific studies. First is best in purifying houseplant. It increases concentration and sharpen focus. Then it increases humidity. 
This is a great ornamental value and very low maintenance. Number six is a rubber tree. Scientific name, Ficus elastica. One of the best health benefits of rubber plant is it decreases chances of getting allergies, natural anti-inflammation, natural analgesic, promotes stomach health. Leaves of this plant have the power to cure skin rashes. This can be done by frequently rubbing the affected area with mush, fresh leaves. And roots of this plant can help also cure rheumatic disease by boiling 3 to 50 grams of roots with 2 glasses of water and you can drink it. Number 7 is Anthorium plants. One of the benefits of this plant is this absorbs formaldehyde, removes xylene, and reduces ammonia. But we have precautions of these plants. The leaves of Anthorium plants contain calcium oxalate crystals, therefore are poisonous. Before handling these plants, it will be recommended to wear gloves and keep the plant out of reach from children and pets at home. Number 8 is a Daphne Bacchia plant. Daphne Bacchia is a house plant usually seen in home and offices. These plants add tropical vibe to any interior in the house. Some benefits of this plant is it improves indoor air quality, best CO2 absorber, best low light plant, and very easy to maintain. Warnings and precautions of this plant is this is known as damp cane because of the temporary mute effect it can have on your vocal cords if ingested. The oxalic acid and asparagine proteins found in the plant cause this reaction and are also responsible for the burning sensation when the juice of the plant touches the skin. Although the toxic effects of diavacchia and gestation are temporary, the plant is still placed in the medium toxic range and therefore care is required especially around children and pets at home. Number 9 is a Gerbera daisy plant. A blooming garden in a veranda is not only refreshing, but it gives us a pleasant look to our house. If you are a passionate gardener, you should know not only to how to take care of your plants, but also how to know their uses and benefits. These Gerbera plants have the ability to synthesize a wide variety of chemical compounds that are used to perform very important biological functions. Many ornamental plants also possess some medical benefits which we are unaware of. Still, it is good to know the medical uses of all plants in your garden, even if they are not a part of herbs. Gerbera DC has a medical use also for antispasmodic gout and ulcers. Number 10 is an orchid's flower. Orchid's flower is one of the many flowers scattered in various areas which have a tropical climate. If you want to find the orchid flower, you can find it in the place that contains low water. Usually, orchids will be placed in areas exposed to indirect sunlight because of the orchids like to indirect sun rays. These orchids are usually used as a symbol of love and beauty or luxury. In addition to this, these also have various benefits like overcoming seizure disorder, overcoming neurological disorder, heal joint pain, heal the fever, eliminating pollution, eliminate toxins in the air, nourish the eyes, and as a natural fragrance. Also still have a lot of benefits in this flower that you must know. Having an indoor plant is the simplest way to bring nature into your household. It doesn't matter if you work at the top of the scraper or you live in an apartment. You can grow your own garden indoor plants by putting plants in pots, boxes, or hanging containers. So overall, I can say that having indoor plants is the best. Because they help purify air, they can reduce stress, they give healthy produce, they can be pretty house decors, they can help you sleep better, they can help fight colds, and they improve us as a well-being. So my friends, viewers, and everybody, thank you for watching my video 
I hope you guys enjoy watching and learn something. So, if you want some recommendation or you want to say something about this video, you can just comment down below. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you want to be updated on my next video. Thank you! Bye -bye.